Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Welcome to our Joshua Community Bailey Borough, our Sunday service. Welcome to all of you who are joining us online. We know you're going to have a blessed morning this morning. As this morning, we have our dear friends that we've just got to know, but they're like bro brothers for life, in Julian Rios and his wife, uh, Vicky, and their kids who, have, who are here with us for the next few days. So we welcome you, and I know we're going to be blessed with our message this morning which I'm told is going to be all about the Holy Spirit and how we need that Holy Spirit, the power of that Holy Spirit. So I know we're going to be blessed. Before we go into the service, Papa, I just want to find out, have you all had a blessed week? Yes. Do we have any testimonies from this week? No? Okay. Well, I have two. This week, we started our first cell in Ballymun and we had 11 people Amen. there and this week we had uh, started an outreach in Cavan and we had 18 people there what a blessing God's on the move and I just want to thank uh, Gary who isn't here today uh, because he's in Navin but uh, Simon for sharing their stories and uh, I promised Simon that uh, I was going to tell him something about what happened on Wednesday that he doesn't, Wednesday evening that he doesn't know. I have had two or three people come to me, Simon, that to tell me that when you were talking and sharing your testimony, that a bright light was over your head throughout the whole time that you were doing this. So God was using you. We just want to come into the presence of the Lord this morning and the power of his Holy Spirit and you know, the Bible tells us that the way we do that is we to, to coming in through time of praise and worship. And his power inhabits his praises. So we are blessed this morning that we have Kenny to lead us in. So let's just open our hearts and minds and just let's join in and come into the presence of God. He's here right now, but let's ask that the Holy Spirit will increase in his anointing. So Father, we just consecrate this whole meeting and gathering together, Father. We are here in your name and we ask you to be Lord of it. We know you are here, Father, but I ask you this day, Father, would you manifest yourself through the power of your Holy Spirit here today in a way like never before, Father? That we go from here, Father, changed and transformed encouraged uplifted lord to realize that we are only at the beginning of our journey with you father and not yet that there's so much more father i ask you this in jesus name Amen. all right guys because we have uh, a few kids extra kids with us this morning we're gonna we're gonna do a wee rendition of my lighthouse again this morning we're probably getting sick of it but no matter it's it's good so, I just want to run through, can anybody help me? I want a volunteer to help me up here. I need, I'm not, I'm not going to ask, a volunteer is required. Thank you very much. So, the actions for this My Lighthouse, remember them Danny? Go on then, My Lighthouse, yeah, so My Lighthouse, so, I'll, I'll just do them up here for a second. So it's my lighthouse, yeah? My lighthouse, shining through the darkness. I will follow you, so I will follow you. Wherever you're going, I'm gonna follow you. Amen. My lighthouse, my lighthouse. I've forgotten the rest, but uh, I will trust the promise. So, I will trust the promise. And what's the next bit? You will follow, uh, you, uh, I'll, <laughs> Shining in the darkness, I will follow you. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Next bit of it, I will trust the promise. You will carry me, that's it. Yeah. So, you will carry me. Yeah. Safe to show. Okay. So, the other bit then, the fire before us, Chris, if you put that bit up. Just add a wee bit. So, fire before us is like this here fire before us. You're the brightest. Okay. okay. So, it's like a Mexican wave. We're going to do a Mexican wave in church this morning. How's yeah. that? Fire before us. You're the brightest. And, and you will lead us through the storm. Okay? Same thing. Fire. Okay. All right. Let's give it a go.
In my wrestling, in my doubts, in my failures, you won't Your way of will lead me to. You are the peace in my trouble see. Oh, you are the peace in my trouble see. In the silence, won't let go. In my question, too clear, oh, your great love will lead me to. You are the peace in my trouble sea, oh, you are the peace in my trouble sea. Are you ready? My lighthouse, my lighthouse, my lighthouse, shining in the darkness, I will follow you, oh. Trust the promise, you will carry me safe to shore, safe to shore, safe to shore, safe to shore. I won't fear what tomorrow brings with each morning a rising sing. God's love will lead me through. You are the peace in my trouble sea. Oh, you are the peace in my trouble sea. You are my peace. Yeah. My lighthouse, my lighthouse, shining in the darkness. I will follow you.
See the fire inside my veins, the echo of my days. Oh, here's my song. You are good, good. Oh, you are good, you're good. Oh, you are good, you're good. Oh, you are good. Never gonna let me. You're never gonna let, never gonna let me down. You're never gonna let, never gonna let me down. You're never gonna let, never gonna let me down. You're never gonna let, never gonna let me down. Cause you are good. Your throne, 
into that place this morning but you know as we've just been singing there is a purpose for that place the purpose is that the Holy Spirit gets his work done and you know it's not about us at the front it's about us as a body and so at this time in where we act we reach out and say has God been speaking to you this morning has he put something in your heart that we all might be blessed if he has will you come and share it please we create this space in every service for the body to function God may be speaking something to you this morning that we need to hear. Don't go home with that message, please, because I need to hear it. Others need to hear it. We carry a responsibility for that. Is there anybody here who the Lord has been speaking to? there's a real sense this morning just of the rest of God and Hebrews says that there is yet a rest for the people of God where we cease from striving we cease from trying to fix and do things in our own strength we surrender and release and you know, in terms of being filled with the Spirit, the key to being filled with the Spirit is to yield, is to let go. The more we yield, the more we let go, the more the Spirit gets access to our hearts and lives. The scripture in Hebrews says, you know, today, when you hear his voice, do not harden your hearts. Don't resist, as they did in the wilderness. See, many people live in a wilderness because they don't enter into the rest of the Holy Spirit. There is yet a rest for the people of God. Is there anybody else just before we ask? Julian, yes. Okay. Two more. Good morning, everybody. Loud, loud. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Rose. The Lord is speaking to me today, and He tells me just to enter into His, his worship. And I come to Him with a heart of worship. You know, his glory is all around me. His glory is all around us. And he says, come boldly to the throne. And that's what we need to do. You know, I just shared with my granddaughter the other day, and I said, you know, I said, learn how to have a grateful heart and to give thanks to God, no matter what you're going through. I said, because Jesus laid down his life for you and for all, all of us. You know, I said, so just try and get through, have God in your heart and for singing the praises to God instead of complaining. We can all complain and, you know, be ungrateful and have our moans and groans. But when we think of the love of God and he's opened his arms for us to come in and to lay our head on his shoulders, and he embraces us with his love. 
you know, it's, it's really beautiful because the Holy Spirit was sent. When Jesus was dying, he said, I'm going to send you somebody. He will be your comforter and your teacher, and he'll always be with you. When we receive Christ into our heart, we receive the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit is the one that teaches us everything that we need to know. And Jesus will always be there. You know, all we have to do is to come into his presence, you know, and um, he will always be there for us no matter what. Even when we're asleep in bed at night, he will always protect us and keep us from harm. And he will speak to us during the day and he will put praises and songs on our heart to sing to him. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I just want to uh, um, I just want to share the scripture that God gave me this morning which I feel is for somebody here just to encourage it's in Isaiah 28 and his plans are wonderful and And his wisdom is magnificent. And I feel like we want things to happen our way, in our time, in, in, and we try to make it happen. But God's saying, hey, his plans are wonderful. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. And his wisdom is magnificent. Hallelujah. That just touched my heart. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Paul. Thank you. I think that's it. So now it gives me pleasure to invite Julian to come and share Julian Rios. And you know, I only met Julian and Vicky for the first time yesterday, and it's like in that space of time that we've become we keep saying to each other, we've met before, we've been together before. And there's such unity and bonding created. And as you know, you know, we have through the last this year the con connections that God has done between Joshua and particularly the churches in Spain and in South America. And Julian is coming from Argentina to here this morning with a message for us. And we're just so blessed, but I believe God is doing something. While we're doing something here in this community, God is also doing something with us in a more global environment. And so I believe it's with purpose that, you know, we've had uh, Andreas here and now we have Julian and I know there's going to be a lot more. So we bless you, Julian. I know you're going to bring a message that is straight from the throne room of God. So come. And Ali, we just thank God because Ali is going to, uh, to uh, interpret for him. Yes. So. I'm going to try to do my best. So I'm sorry if I just take a few seconds for me to translate. So. <laughs> Hello, good morning. Good morning. Uh, well, this is it's, my it's my pleasure to be here. Lo dije bien? Uh, un, uh, yes. <laughs> Estoy aprendiendo inglés. He's uh, learning English. Lo practico. I practice. Me equivoco mucho. I make a lot of mistakes. Pero mejoraré mucho. But I will get better. Estoy feliz de estar con ustedes en esta mañana. I'm very happy to be here today with you. Los planes de Dios son perfectos. Um, the plans of God are perfect. Y para no perder el tiempo, quiero ir a lo que Dios quiere hablar. And to not lose time, I want to speak about what God wants to speak today. Antes decirles que les envían muchos saludos. Uh, before that, um, you have many greetings. Reciban saludos de nuestros apóstoles Gustavo y Karina Lara. From our apostles, uh, Gustavo and Karina Lara. Son quienes cuidan de nosotros. They are the ones who take care of us. Y de toda la congregación que oran por ustedes. And, and the whole congregation uh, prays for you. Y también de los pastores de Ali y Kevin. Yes. And also the my, our pastors, Kevin and I, that Lito are from Adri. Lito and Adri. Estaban felices que estemos aquí con sus hijos. They are very happy to be, to, for them to be here visiting us. Y envían saludos también. And they are sending uh, their greetings too. 
Hay un énfasis de Dios en esta estación. There is a focus of God in this season. Y es comprender el propósito de su espíritu en nosotros. And it's about understanding the purpose of his spirit in us. Cuando comprendemos la labor del Espíritu Santo, When we understand the work of the Holy Spirit, Cristo crece en nosotros. Christ grows in us. Dios siempre utilizó el principio de la semilla. God always used the principle of the seed. Todo comienza pequeño. Everything starts little. Crece. Then grows. Madura. Uh, grows y alimenta a otros. And then it feeds others. Por eso él fue el ejemplo de esa semilla. That's why he was the example of that seed. Él fue el grano de trigo que cayó en la tierra y murió. He was the seed uh, that fall in the in the grass and died. Y dio fruto. And gave fruit. Y ese fruto somos nosotros. And that fruit is us. Que glorificamos a Dios con nuestras vidas. That we, eh, we glorify God with our lives. Hablar del Espíritu Santo no es hablar de una cosa. To talk about the Holy Spirit is not to talk about a thing. El Espíritu Santo no es una experiencia. He is not an experience. El Espíritu Santo no es una sensación. Uh, the Holy Spirit is not a sensation. No es una paloma. It's not a dove. Tampoco es un fuego. Neither is a fire. Es una persona. It's a person. Y es la persona de Dios en nosotros. And it's the person of God in us. Que tiene el propósito de gobernarnos. That has the purpose to govern us, to rule us. El Espíritu Santo es la realidad de Dios en nosotros. Uh, the Holy Spirit is the reality of God in us. ¿Cómo podemos vivir el Evangelio? How can we live the gospel? Gracias al Espíritu Santo. Thanks to the Holy Spirit. ¿Podemos saber la Biblia? We can know the Bible. Tener conocimientos de Dios. Have knowledge of God. Pero vivir a Dios. But to live God. Necesitamos al Espíritu Santo. We need the Holy Spirit. El Espíritu Santo es el espíritu de la realidad de Dios. The Holy Spirit is the spirit of the reality of God. Vengo a decirles en esta mañana I came to, uh, this morning to tell you que Dios será muy real en ustedes that, that God will be very real in you y a través de todo lo que hagan. And through everything that you do. Los vientos están cambiando para esta región. The winds are changing in this season. Porque la gente comenzará a ver lo que nunca vio. Because the people will start seeing what they haven't seen yet. Y es la realidad de Dios en la ciudad. And that's the reality of God in the city. No es una información de Dios. It's not an information of God. No es un mensaje. It's not a message. Es la vida de Dios en la ciudad. It's the life of God in the city. La vida de Dios en la nación. The life of God in the nation. Para esto necesitamos al Espíritu Santo. But for this we need the Holy Spirit. Sin el Espíritu Santo nuestra vida se basa en simples conocimientos. Without the Holy Spirit our life is only based on vain knowledge. Sabemos mucho pero vivimos poco. We know a lot but we live little. Para eso nos fue confiado el Espíritu Santo. That's why the Holy Spirit was trusted to us. Para vivir a Dios. To live the Holy Spirit. Y conocer su voluntad. And to know his will. Esto nos enseña la Biblia. That's what we learn from the Bible. No hemos recibido el espíritu del mundo. We haven't received the spirit of the world. Hemos recibido el espíritu de Dios. We have received the spirit of uh, of God. Para que sepamos lo que él nos ha dado. To know what he has given to us. Necesitamos comprender todo lo que Dios puso en nuestras manos. We need to understand everything that we that God gave us in our hands. Porque alguien que no sabe lo que Dios ha puesto en sus manos no puede servir. Because someone that doesn't know what they have they have in their hands doesn't know how to serve. Recuerden a Jesús con sus discípulos. Remember Jesus with the disciples. Dice que lavó los pies de sus discípulos. Uh, it says that he uh, washes the feet of their disciples. Pero primero, But first, la Biblia dice, the Bible says, sabiendo que había venido de Dios, knowing that it was from God, coming from God, que a Dios volvía, and that he was coming to God, 
y sabiendo todo lo que tenía en sus manos and every, knowing everything that he had in his hand, se ciñó la toalla y lavó los pies he took the towel and cleaned the feet. nadie puede servir si no conoce su identidad Nobody can serve if you don't know your identity. Pero tampoco podemos servir si no sabemos lo que Dios nos confió. But we also can't serve if we don't know what God gave us. Quiero ser muy profético en esta mañana. I want to be uh, very intentional prophetically this morning. Están en un tiempo de purificación. You are in a season of purification. Dios los está limpiando. God is cleaning you. La visión se está aclarando. The vision is uh, getting clear. Porque eso es lo primero que hace el Espíritu Santo. Because that's what the Holy Spirit does first. Decirte quién eres tú para Dios. Tell you who you are for God. No para el mundo. Not for the world. ¿Quién eres tú para Dios? But who you are in God. ¿Y qué es lo que él necesita que tú hagas en esta tierra? And what he needs for you to do in this earth. Por, es, por, por ese lugar comienza el poder del Espíritu. That's where it starts the work of the Holy Spirit. ¿De qué me sirve tener una experiencia hermosa un domingo? Uh, what, what is it for to have an, a great experience in the Holy Spirit one morning? Si en la semana perdí mi identidad. If in the week, during the week, I lost my identity. Si en la semana no sé qué hacer. If I don't know what to do during the week. El Espíritu Santo the, será revelado. The Holy Spirit will be revealed. Hay algo muy importante que hace el Espíritu de Dios en nosotros. There's something very important that the Holy Spirit does in us. Y en esta mañana yo quiero hablarles la verdad en verdad. And this morning I want to speak to you the truth in the truth. No quiero convencerlos. I don't want to convince you. No quiero eh, exaltarles lo, lo, el ánimo. I don't want to make you happy. Pero sé que tu espíritu But hoy, I know that your spirit, hoy recibe esta palabra como una tierra fértil. Today we receive this word as a fertile earth, as fertile grass, ground. Hay algo que el Espíritu Santo se asegurará en nosotros. There is something that the Holy Spirit will confirm, uh, secure in us. You are ready? <laughs> Él va a asegurarse que estés muerto. He will make sure that you are dead. Repeat. <laughs> El Espíritu Santo viene a nosotros. The Holy Spirit come to us para asegurarnos to make sure de que no seamos nosotros that is not us, sino solo que Dios sea a través de nosotros. But God through us. El problema no son las estructuras. The problem is not about the structures. El problema no es la religión. Not, not about religion. Dios nunca tuvo problema con la religión. God never had problem with religion. El problema no son las tinieblas. The problem uh, are not the uh, dark darkness. Dios nunca tuvo problema con las tinieblas. God never had trouble with darkness. Un día él dijo. Uh, one day he said. Sea la luz. Be the light. Yeah, there, there. Listo. Be there, be light. And that's done. El problema somos nosotros. The problem is us. Cuando queremos vivir para nuestra voluntad. When we want to live for our uh, will, own will. Ese es el pecado. That's the sin. ¿Qué es pecado? What is sin? Vivir para mí. To live for my own. Pecado es no hacer la voluntad de Dios. Sin is not uh, a, sorry, pecado. No hacer la voluntad de Dios. Sin is not to do his will, the, God, the God's will. Y hacer mi propia voluntad. And to do my own purpose, my own will. Génesis capítulo 3. Uh, Genesis 3. Uh, Allí no hay adulterio. There is no ad adultery. No hay fornicación. Fornication. No hay robo. No steal. Hubo un hombre. There was One man que quiso hacer su propia voluntad that wanted to do his own will y no la de Dios. And not of, uh, God's will. El Espíritu Santo viene a asegurarse de que nosotros 
hayamos muerto a nuestro propio yo. So the Holy Spirit comes to make sure that we have died of our own will, of our own I. <laughs> la muerte siempre está antes que la vida. Death is always before life. Él nos sacó de la muerte He bring us, uh, to life from death, y nos trasladó a su vida. And now we are in his life. El Jordán estaba antes que Canaán. The Jordan River was before the Canaan, the, uh, the promised land. Había que morir, había que humillarse. Uh, we had, uh, they had to uh, die and humiliate themselves. Para entrar a la tierra prometida. To enter the promised land. La cruz es antes de la iglesia. The cross is before the church. Somos iglesias gracias a la cruz. We are church, thank you. Thanks for the cross. En otras palabras. In other words. Sin cruz no hay evangelio. Without cross we don't have gospel. Porque el evangelio es la muerte a nuestro yo. Because uh, the gospel is the death of myself. El Espíritu Santo lo primero que hace en nosotros. The Holy Spirit, the first thing that he does in us es ayudarnos is to help us a renunciar a nuestra vida to renounce of, uh, of our life a dejar atrás nuestras experiencias to uh, let behind all of our experiences mucha gente cree que hay que dejar atrás las malas experiencias many people think that we have to leave behind all the bad experiences pero esto es incompleto but that is incomplete Dios necesita que renunciemos a las malas y a las buenas experiencias. God needs to renounce and let go of all the experiences, the bad and the good ones. No sea cosa que confiemos en nuestras buenas experiencias y no confiemos en Dios. The problem would be if we start um, uh, trusting, yes, in the good experiences and not in God. Hay una limpieza. There is a clean, uh, a cleaning. Para que el reino sea expresado. So that the uh, rain will be expressed. Ahora bien, encontramos en la Biblia a Jesús hablando de, del Espíritu Santo. Now we find the Jesus in the Bible talking about the Holy Spirit. Y ustedes lo recordarán bien. And you will remember. Eh, eso, eso está en Hechos capítulo 1, verso 8. That's in Acts, uh, ver, uh, Acts 2. Act, eh, uh, two, no, one, one, sorry, eight. eight. Acts one, eight. Jesús se dirige a sus discípulos. Jesus uh, goes to his disciples. Y pongan atención. And pay attention. Sus discípulos tenían mucha, mucha experiencia. Uh, his disciples had a lot of experience. They Habi experiences. Habían caminado con Jesús. They had already uh, walked with Jesus. Habían visto a Jesús resucitar los muertos. They have seen God uh, um, rising dead uh, to life. Habían visto sanar a los enfermos. And they have seen Jesus uh, healing every uh, uh, sick people. Fueron espectadores de muchos milagros. They saw so many miracles. Sin embargo, but Jesús le dijo, Jesus said, no se muevan de aquí. Don't move from here. Be still. Pero Jesús. But Jesus. Somos las personas ideales para predicar el evangelio. We are the perfect people to preach the gospel. Somos los mejores líderes que tenés. We are the best leaders that you have. No se muevan. But he says, still. Be still. Pero Jesús, tenemos muy buenas experiencias. But, with, but Jesus, we have a lot of experience. No se muevan. Be still. Hasta que no sean investidos del Espíritu Santo. Until you are clothed with the Holy Spirit. ¿Qué significa? That, what does that mean? Que las experiencias son buenas. That the experiences are good. Enriquecen nuestras vidas. They enrich our life. Pero no te habilitan. But they don't enable you. Lo que nos habilita en el reino. What enables us es el in, poder del Espíritu Santo. In the kingdom is the Holy Spirit's power. The power of the Holy Spirit. El poder del Espíritu Santo. 
The power of the Holy Spirit. ¿Por qué? Why? Porque cuando reciban al Espíritu Santo, Because when you receive the Holy Spirit, serán mis testigos. You will be my um, uh, witnesses. Yeah. La palabra testigo. The word uh, te, uh, witnesses. Sorry. No parece lo que leemos. It doesn't look like what we read about. Cuando buscamos en el original griego, when we look in the original Greek word, la palabra griega es martyr. It means martyr. Que significa mártir. Which means a martyr. La pregunta es, ¿cuántos quieren al Espíritu Santo? The question is how many wants the Holy Spirit? Porque Jesús les dijo, le voy a dar mi espíritu says, I'm going to give you the spirit para que puedan morir. So that you can die. Le daré mi espíritu para que puedan hacer lo que en su fuerza no está. I will give you the spirit so that you can do what you can't do on your own, on your own strength. No tenemos fuerzas para abandonar el pecado. We have no strength to uh, let down, uh, to um, abandon a sin. No tenemos fuerza own. para abandonar la maldad. We have no uh, strength to abandon uh, darkness. No tenemos capacidades en nosotros para resistirnos al pecado. We have no capacity in us to resist sin. Pero Dios nos ha dado a su espíritu. But God gave us his spirit. Para morir. To die. Una para morir una muerte que no podemos morir. To die a death that we can't. Y vivir una vida que no podemos vivir. And to live a death that we can't live. Su espíritu. His spirit. Nos da la capacidad. Give us the capacity. De ya no vivir nosotros. To not live for our own. Pero que él pueda vivir en nosotros. But he will live in us. Las experiencias son buenas. The experiences are good. Pero no te habilitan. But they don't uh, enable you. Eso es la cruz. That is the cross. Voy a ser fiel a lo que veo en mi espíritu. I'm going to be loyal to what I see in the spirit. Es una estación donde Dios los va a equipar. There is a season that, uh, that God will equip you. Donde Dios le va a dar muchas herramientas. Where God will give you a lot of tools. Pero esas herramientas son poderosas en el espíritu de Dios. But those tools are powerful in the spirit. No son herramientas carnales. Not uh, natural tools. Nuestras armas no son naturales. Or uh, weapons are not natural. Tenemos armas espirituales. We have spiritual weapons. ¿Cómo funcionan las armas espirituales? And how does these weapons, these spiritual weapons works? Por el espíritu. Through the spirit. Lo espiritual se acomoda a lo espiritual. The spiritual um, fits in the spiritual in the spiritual ese es el poder de Dios en nosotros that's the power of God in us este poder nos lleva a morir this power takes us to death renunciamos a nuestra voluntad to die and to renounce on, of our own will nuestro propósito our own purpose nuestros deseos our own desires nuestros intereses our own interests a nuestro propio parecer en our own thinking para poder ver como Dios ve to start seeing the way God sees y oír como Dios habla and hear how God hears ese es un testigo that is a witness es alguien que ha visto is someone who has seen no se trata de repetirle a la gente lo que nos han dicho Sorry, I'm going to say, uh, is someone who has seen something? Uh, it's not, uh, no se trata de, de contarle a la gente lo que hemos oído solamente. It's not only about telling people what we have heard. Sino lo que hemos visto. But uh, the things that we have seen. Quiero que pongas tu mano en tu corazón. I want you to put uh, your hand in your heart. 
y reciban esta palabra and receive this word. han oído mucho de parte de Dios you have heard a lot about God. pero es una estación But this is a season donde los ojos se abren where your eyes will be open para poder ver to see lo que han oído durante todos estos años what you have heard during all these years habrá mayor claridad there is going to be more clarity podrán ver lo que tienen que hacer you will uh, uh, clarity uh, you will see clarity what you have to do van a tener sueños y visiones you will have visions and dreams porque el poder del espíritu santo los gobierna because the power of the holy spirit governs you y en la medida que el gobierno del Espíritu Santo crece en nosotros, and uh, while the Holy Spirit, while, while the power of the Holy Spirit grows in us, Cristo crece. Christ grows too. Y si Cristo crece, and if Christ grows, habrá fruto. There is going to be fruit. Y si hay fruto, and if there is fruit, listen please. <laughs> y si hay fruto. And if there is fruit, vendrá la poda. Then it comes the cut. Porque Dios nunca podará un árbol que no crece. Because uh, God will never uh, cut a um, tree that doesn't grow. Solo se poda lo que crece. Uh, God only cuts what grows. Cut back. Do you know? Cuando se poda un árbol. Yes. Prune, sorry. Yes. Solo se poda lo que crece. So uh, God only prunes what grows. Yeah. Quieren frutos en Irlanda? You want to see fruits in Ireland? Démosle la bienvenida a la poda. Then let's welcome the prune. Esta es una estación de limpieza. This is a season. This is a season of cleaning. Aplaudan ahora porque dentro de un tiempo no van a tener tiempo para aplaudir. Um, uh, give applause now because uh, in a few times, in a few uh, moments, you will not want to applause. <laughs> es una estación de limpieza. It's a season of cleaning. ¿Por qué? Why? Why? Porque han crecido. Because you have grown. ¿Por qué es una estación de limpieza? Why is, is there a season of cleaning? Porque hemos crecido. Because we have grown. Hemos dado fruto. We have give fruit. Pero Dios. But now God. Quiere más fruto. Wants more fruit. No se conformen. Uh, don't. Uh, don't conform. Don't be conformed. Porque recién están poniendo las bases. Because you are uh, starting to put the bases. Hay un trabajo generacional. There is a generational work. Y Dios te ha dado, pastor, las herramientas necesarias. And God has given you, pastor, the necessary tools. Y la autoridad. And the authority. Para limpiar. To clean. Verán a Dios con toda autoridad en los próximos días. You will see God with, whole, with his whole authority during these days. In the next few days. No se trata de honrar a Liam. It's not about honoring Liam. Yo tengo que ver la autoridad de Dios representada a través de él. I have to see the authority of God in Liam. Porque cuando vemos la autoridad. Because when we see the authority. Soy limpiado. We are clean. Y esta es la palabra de Dios para ustedes. And that's uh, the word uh, for God today. Mucha limpieza. A lot of cleaning. Porque crecerán. Because you will grow. Porque han crecido. Because you have grown. Y porque seguirán creciendo. And you will keep growing. Recuerden. Remember. Dios no poda lo que no crece. 
God doesn't prune what doesn't grow. Han sido fieles hasta aquí. You have been faithful. Pero Dios va a pedir más fidelidad. But God will ask for more fidelity, more faithfulness. Dios les va a confiar trabajos a los que no están preparados humanamente. God will trust works to those who are not prepared uh, humanly. Porque la limpieza Because the cleaning nos lleva a dar más fruto. Takes us to give more fruit. Habrá tanta vida de Dios There is going to be so much life of God que no la podrán retener. That you will not be able to contain it. Habrá tanta vida de Dios There is going to be so much life of que God no la podrán frenar. that you will not stop it. Porque you, la iglesia Because the church es el gobierno de Dios. is the govern of God. No de los hombres. Not of men. Pero los hombres. But men. Son elegidos por Dios. Are chosen by God. Para representar el gobierno. To represent that government. Sométanse los unos a los otros. Sométanse. Eh, summit, summit one another. Respeten la autoridad. Um, eh, respect the authority. Sorry. Honren la autoridad. Honor the authority. La autoridad que Dios le ha dado tiene que ser honrada. The authority that God has given to you has to be honored. Entonces, so, viene la limpieza. Then it comes the cleaning. Hay una particularidad. There is a, what? There is a particular thing. El árbol nunca elige la herramienta. The uh, tree never chooses the tool. No me gusta esa herramienta. I don't like that tool. No me gusta el serrucho. Oh. <laughs> I don't like that uh, machine that cuts the tree. Yes. <laughs> Henzo. No me gusta esa tijera. I don't like that scissor. ¿Ok? Ok. ¿Está bien? It's ok. ¿No te gusta? You don't like it. Igual vendrá a ti. But it will come anyway. Dios no te consulta a ti. God doesn't consult you. Dios se consulta a sí mismo. God consults himself. Porque lo que se llevará a cabo es su plan. Because what comes neither way is his plan. No el nuestro. Not ours. Esa es la vida del Espíritu. That's the life of the Spirit. Ese es el poder del Espíritu Santo. That's the power of the Holy Spirit. Jesús marca en Hechos 1.8 Jesus says in Acts 1.8 el propósito del Espíritu Santo. The purpose of the Holy Spirit. No las señales. Not the signs. Muchas veces buscamos las señales. Many times we look for these signs, pero no queremos el propósito. But we don't want purpose. Tranquilos. Be still. Vivan en el propósito del Espíritu Santo. Live in the purpose of the Holy Spirit. Y las señales lo seguirán. And the signs will follow you. Hablarán en lenguas. You will speak in tongues. Echarán fuera demonios. You will kick down demons. Sanarán a los enfermos. You will heal sick, uh, people. Son señales. Those are signs. No es el propósito. Not the purpose. El propósito. The purpose. Es que tú seas gobernado. Is for you to be governed. El propósito. The purpose. Es que permanezcamos muertos. Is to, uh, to, to, to still die. Still die. To, to, to be dead. To be dead. Lo digo bien. To, uh, yes, and also to, to keep that, you know, in that state. You understand? <laughs> It's okay. <laughs> no busquen las señales. Don't look for the signs. Amen el propósito. Love the purpose. ¿Se entiende esta parte? Uh, do you understand this part? Yes, or repito. Or he can repeat. More time, I need. 
for a repeat. <laughs> Joel, el profeta Joel habla de las señales. The prophet Joel eh, talks about the signs. Pero Jesús habla del propósito. But Jesus, Jesus speaks, uh, talks about the purpose. Las dos cosas son de Dios. Both things are from God. Pero una viene sola. But, but one comes alone. Y la otra hay que buscarla. And the other one we have to look for it. Busquemos el propósito del Espíritu. Let's look for the purpose of the Spirit. Que es el gobierno de Dios en nuestras vidas. That is the rule, the govern of, of God in us. Para que las señales nos sigan. So that the signs las will follow us. Las señales te alcanzarán. The signs will catch you. Las señales los alcanzarán. The signs will catch you. Tendrán experiencias extraordinarias. You will have extraordinary experiences. Serán bautizados. We will baptize in. Hablarán en lenguas. You will talk in. in Sanarán los enfermos. Speaking tongues, healing uh, uh, the sick, sick people. Porque antes. Because before. Amaron el gobierno del Espíritu Santo. You Santos. have loved the govern of the Holy Spirit in you. Ya ni sé por qué parte de mi bosquejo voy. Me neither. <laughs> I don't know what part of the, the, uh, the text I'm going. Pero quiero leer un texto. Ya, eh, ¿Cuántos minutos me quedan, Pastor? How many minutes? Uh, he... ¿Qué dijo? Sí, que siga. Ok. Ok. No, quiero ser respetuoso también. He wants to be respectful of your time too. En esta mañana me levanté con un verso en mi mente. This morning I wake up with a verse in my mind. Y estaba en la sala de los pastores. And I was in the living room of, of the pastors. Y la fui a leer. And I went to read it. Lo que vamos a leer a continuación. What we will read uh, in the next few seconds. Habla de los siete espíritus de Dios expresado en la iglesia. Talks about the seven spirits of God expressed in the church. Y es Cristo creciendo. And is Christ growing. Lo que crece, Dios lo poda. What grows, God prunes it. Crece más. Grows more. Viene otra poda. Then it comes another prune. Crece mucho más. It grows a lot more. Viene más poda. There's another prune. Porque ese es el evangelio. Because that's the gospel. Santificándonos todo el tiempo. Sanctified, sanctified us every time, all the time. Isaías capítulo 11. Isaías 11. Isaías. Chapter 11, verse 1. Two, four. Good. Yes? <laughs> Bravo! Congratulations, Julian. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Tengo la versión NBI. Okay. He, wow. He has It's perfect. Okay. All you, Ali. Okay. I read it? Read All. All of it. Okay. One, two, four. Okay. Um, Lelo, de ahí, I have it here. Uh, a shoot will come up from the stump of Jesse. From his roots, a branch will, be f will bear fruit. The spirit of the Lord will rest on him. The spirit of wisdom and of understanding. The spirit of counsel and of might. The spirit of knowledge and fear of the Lord, and he will delight in the fear of the Lord. He will not judge by what he sees with his eyes, or decide by what he, why, by what he hears with his ears, but with righteousness he will judge the needy. With justice he will give decisions for the poor of the earth. He will strike the earth with the, root, with the rod of his mouth. With the bread of his lips, he will slay the wicked. Esto es lo que van a vivir. This is what you will live. Quiero que en la semana sigan 
lo vuelvan a leer. I want you uh, in the next in the week to read it again. Porque estos versos fueron como un sello a mi espíritu en esta mañana. Because these verses were like a, a sign in my spirit, a seal. Hmm? Sí. En la medida que Cristo crece en nosotros. Uh, while uh, Christ grows in us. Por causa de la poda. Because of the prune, el Espíritu de Dios se manifestará. The Spirit of God will manifest. ¿Cómo se manifiesta el Espíritu de Dios? And how does the Holy Spirit manifest? Sintiendo un fuego. Feeling a fire. Maybe. Maybe. Sintiendo una brisa. Feeling a uh, a wind, a breeze. Maybe. Pero recuerda. But remember. Son señales. Those are signs. Pero de manera práctica. But a practical, in a practical way. ¿Cómo se manifiesta el Espíritu de Dios en nuestros días? How does the, the Holy Spirit manifest in our, in our days? ¿Cómo puedo saber que verdaderamente Dios me está limpiando. How can I really know that God is cleaning me? Porque el Espíritu de Dios se manifiesta. Because the Holy Spirit manifests. ¿Cómo? How? Se manifestará como sabiduría. He will manifest uh, as a uh, wisdom. Quiero que reciban esta palabra. I want you to receive this word. Yo estoy profetizando en esta mañana. I'm prophesying this morning. Habrá un incremento de sabiduría entre ustedes. There is going to be uh, more uh, wisdom in you. Harán en pocos meses lo que llevaría años hacer. You will do in a few months what could take uh, that would have taken years to do. Porque la sabiduría es la capacidad de aplicar lo que conocemos. Because wisdom is the capacity to apply what we know. ¿Cómo aplico la vida de Dios en la gente? How can I apply? How can I practice the life of God in the people? Experimentarán un bautismo en la sabiduría de Dios. You will experience a baptism in the wisdom of God. Nadarán en la sabiduría de Dios. You will swim, swim in the wisdom of God. Número dos. Second. El espíritu de Dios se manifiesta con entendimiento. The Spirit of God manifests with uh, knowledge, understanding, sorry. Podremos entender lo que oímos. We uh, will be able to understand what we hear. Podremos entender lo que estamos viendo. We will understand what we are seeing. Esta pregunta Dios le hacía a los profetas. That's what uh, God uh, uh, was asking the prophets. Dios le daba una visión a los profetas. God gave a vision to the prophet. Pero Dios le preguntaba. But God will ask, ask, ask them. ¿Entiendes? Do you understand? ¿Entiendes? Do you understand what I'm showing you? Porque Dios no solo quiere que veamos. Because God doesn't only want us to see something. Él quiere que entendamos. He wants us to understand. Porque el entendimiento because uh, understanding hace que las cosas se vuelvan reales en la sociedad makes that uh, things become real in society en tercer lugar in third place espíritu de consejo a spirit of um, advice counsel yeah este es Cristo creciendo this is Christ growing cuando Cristo crece hay sabiduría. When Christ grows there is a wisdom. Hay entendimiento. There is understanding. Hay buen consejo. And there is good advice, good counsel. Te volverás consejeros de quienes no son tus amigos. You will be advisors of, you will be advisor of the ones that are not your uh, friends. Se volverán consejeros de políticos. You will be advisor for politician people. Se volverán consejeros de la autoridad. You will be advisor for authorities. Y eso pasará. And that will happen. Y eso ya está pasando entre ustedes. And that is already happen 
among you. Lo puedo ver en mi espíritu. I can see it in the spirit. Repito, estoy siendo muy profético en esta mañana. I repeat, I'm, I'm being very prophetically this morning. Están discipulando a personas que la sociedad abandonó. You're discipling people that uh, society has um, abandoned. La gente cree que ustedes discipulan a desamparados. People think that you're discipling people that are, are worthless. Pero ustedes están discipulando a consejeros. But you are discipling people that will be counselors and advisors. Están discipulando a sabios. You're disciplining, discipl discipli di oh, sorry, <laughs> discipling uh, uh, wisdom, uh, wise people. <laughs> Están discipulando a personas en cuarto lugar Fourth place. que se mueven en el poder del Espíritu. You're discipling people that moves in the Holy Spirit. Gente que no se apoya en sus habilidades naturales. People who doesn't uh, trust in their own abilities. Solo saben. They only know que Dios sabe. That God knows. En quinto lugar. Uh, uh, five. Espíritu de conocimiento. A spirit of knowledge. ¿Se dan cuenta? Do you realize? Lo que sucede cuando Cristo crece. What happens with the Holy Spirit when Christ grows? Hay sabiduría. There is wisdom. Hay entendimiento. Understanding. Hay consejo. Uh, advice. Hay poder. Power. Hay conocimiento. There is knowledge. Hay temor de Dios. There is fear of God. No temor a los hombres. Not fear of, uh, of, of men, temor de Dios. But fear of God. La iglesia está recuperando el temor a Dios. The church is uh, restoring um, the fear for God, of God. No, no hago esto porque al pastor no le gusta. No, I don't do this because the pastor doesn't like it. No hago esto porque no quiero ofender al Espíritu Santo. No, I don't do this because I don't want to offend the Holy Spirit. Hay temor de Dios. There is fear of God. Y el verso 3 dice. And the verse 3 says. Él se deleitará en el temor de Dios. He, all right. And he will delight in the fear of the Lord. Porque una cosa es temer a Dios. Because it's the, one thing is to fear God. Y otra cosa es disfrutar este temor a Dios. And other thing is to enjoy this fear of God. Otra versión dice. Other version says. Disfrutará obedecer a Dios. He will delight and he will enjoy fearing God. Obey God, sorry, obey God. Yeah. Disfrutará obedecer a Dios. He will be delighted obeying God. ¿Y saben lo que sucede cuando disfrutamos el crecimiento de Cristo? And you know what happens when we enjoy the growth of, of Christ in us? Porque todo lo que crece. Because everything that grows. Prunes. Y si crece mucho. And if it grows too much. Prune what? again. Prune yes. again. Y estos son los frutos de un árbol podado. And these are the fruits of a pruned uh, tree. El retoño de Isaías Cristo. The <laughs> sorry. Verse verse one. I have it here. I don't. <laughs> okay. The stump of Isaiah is It's Christ. Is Christ. The stump. The branch. Sorry. The branch of Isaiah is Christ. Okay. Okay. Y dice el verso 3. And the verse 3 says. No juzgará según las apariencias. He will not judge for appearance. A mí me parece, pastor. I believe, pastor, this is what I think. No juzgaremos por lo que a nosotros nos parece. We will not judge for what we see. ¿Por qué? What we think. Why? Porque Dios te pondrá delante de personas because people will put you in front of, of other people que parecen 
horribles. Sorry, God will put you in front of other people that look horrible. Integralmente. Uh, in their whole life, all, all is ruined. Más nosotros. But us. Que hemos nacido del Espíritu. That we have a born, been born again from the Spirit. Que vivimos bajo el poder del Espíritu. And that we live uh, under the power of the Holy Spirit. Podremos conocer el destino que el Señor tiene con la persona. We, we will be able to know the destiny that God has with that person. Porque hay espíritu de sabiduría. Because there is spirit of uh, wisdom. Understanding. De conocimiento. Knowledge. No podemos discipular sin antes saber cuál es el destino de las personas. We can't disciple without before knowing the destiny of the people. No juzgará según las apariencias. You will not judge for appearance. Tampoco tomará decisiones por lo que oiga. And you will neither uh, take decisions for what you hear. ¿Qué significa? What does that mean? que tanto lo que vemos y lo que oímos en lo natural that what we hear and what we see in the natural aspect no nos gobierna doesn't rule us ¿por qué? why? porque Cristo crece because, because Christ is growing dime cuánto te gobierna lo que ves y lo que oyes y te diré cuánto Cristo ha crecido en ti tell me how much The things that you see and that you hear naturally governs you, rule you, and I will tell you. Y te diré cuánto Cristo ha crecido en ti. And I will tell you how much God has grown in you. Christ has grown in you. Y ya termino. And we end. Para que me crean, voy a cerrar el ordenador. Venir aquí fue de Dios. Um, coming here to Ireland was from God. No estaba en mis planes. It wasn't in my plans. No estaba en mi agenda. It wasn't in my agenda. El apóstol Gustavo me habló de venir por explicar el CEAP. The apostle Gustavo told me to come here and talk about the CEAP, this uh, leadership program. Y obedecí. And I obey. Pero entiendo que hay una intención de Dios. But I understand there is an intention from God. Y que muchas veces las cosas que vemos a simple vista son excusas. And many times the things that we see uh, uh, in sight are, uh, are simple things, excuses. Quiero honrarles por el trabajo que hacen. I want to honor you for the work that you do. Porque Dios lo tiene en alta estima. Because God uh, have you in high esteem. No permitan que sus manos se, se cansen. Don't let your hands to get tired. Porque quien se cansa. Because the one who gets tired. Se vuelve lento. Becomes slower. Perezoso. Lazy. Viene un tiempo de mayor velocidad. Uh, there is a new season of a, a more uh, velocity, uh, acceleration, yeah. Y para esto, And for that, Dios los dejará más liviano. God will leave you lighter. Por eso la poda. That's why the prune. Esto lo dice el apóstol que escribe a los hebreos. This is uh, what the apostle says in Hebrews. Hay que sacarse el peso de encima. We have to take out of this uh, charge that we have, this, uh, this weight. Para correr esta carrera. To run this uh, carrera. Race. This race. <laughs> good. <laughs> My English is good. <laughs> No, pero a mí me gusta esto. No, but I like this. Y Dios te dice. And God says to you. Afuera. Uh, out. You don't need it. Take it off. Vení, Kevin. Sí, <laughs> Come, sí, Kevin. sí. Please. 
Come on here. Me vas a intentar sacar el saco y convenciéndome. You have to try to take out my y decirme my en inglés. Jacket. No, no, no. No, no. It's okay. No, no, no. Ah, ya no. It's okay. Thank you. Thank you. No, no. It's okay. No, no. Thank you. Eso pasará con ustedes. That will happen with you. Dios va a romper con las comodidades. God will break with your uh, comod eh, com comfort. Comfort. Comfort zone. Yeah. Porque Dios no te consultará si te es cómodo. Because God will not ask you if you feel comfortable. Dios te quiere rápido. God wants you fast. Ligero. Light. Listo. Ready. Ágil. Uh, fast. <laughs> ¿A dónde vamos? Where are we going? Ve al sur. Go south. Ok. Ok. ¿Qué hago, Señor? What should I do, Lord? Shut up, please. <laughs> Shut up, please. <laughs> no, in Spanish. Uh, cállate. <laughs> ok, Lord. Shh. Ok. Shh. Porque habrá momentos de quedarte quieto. Because there, there will be moments that we, you have to be still. Y habrá momentos de correr. And there, are, there will be moments that you will have to run. Habrá momentos de hacer silencio. There will be moments to do, be silent. Y habrá momentos de hablar. And moments to speak. Habrá momento de plantar. Moments to uh, y plant. Momen, y momento de cosechar. In times for, see, for seen. So, Harvest, yes, harvest. Eso hace el Espíritu Santo. That's what the Holy Spirit does. Revelarte. To reveal you. ¿Cuál es tu tiempo? What is your time? Él es tu consejero. He is your advisor. Ali. El Espíritu Santo te está hablando. Okay, the Holy Spirit is speaking to me. Is an example. Yeah. Ali. Silent. Y Ali obedecerá. And Ali will obey. Porque él es nuestro consejero. Because he is our oral advisor. Él me gobierna. He rules me. Yo no lo gobierno a él. I don't rule him. Oh Espíritu Santo. Oh Holy Spirit. Haz tu obra en esa persona. Do your work in that person. Espíritu Santo te mira. He will look at you like. Yo no soy tu siervo. I'm not your um, servant. Yo soy tu gobierno. I am your govern. El Espíritu Santo siempre te recordará. The Holy Spirit will always remember you. Que tú estás al servicio de Dios. That you are. Uh, um, al servicio de Dios. You are the servant of God. Y Dios no está a tu servicio. And God, and it's not the opposite. God is not on your service. Padre, gracias por esta mañana. Father, thank you for this morning. Gracias por regalarnos este tiempo. Thank you for giving us uh, this time. Este espacio. This space. Gracias por tu palabra. Thank you for your word. Porque aunque haya cosas que quizás no se comprendieron en su totalidad, because although there are there might be few things that were not understood totally, tu espíritu, your spirit, tu espíritu, your spirit, nos enseñará todas las cosas. Will show us and learn, uh, teach us everything. Gracias por los pastores que trabajan en Joshua. Thank you for the pastors that work in Joshua. Gracias por los líderes que se están formando. Thank you for the leaders that are growing. Gracias por los que están siendo alcanzados. Thank you for the ones that, I, uh, that are being rich. Y gracias por aquellos que aún están en las calles. And thank you for those that are in the streets. Pero son tus profetas. But those are, are, are your prophets. Son tus políticos. They are your politicians. Son tus profesionales. Your professionals. Los llamamos. We call them. En la fe. In faith, en la oración, in prayer, 
a tu vida to your life. Padre Father, rogamos we ask you que tu espíritu nos guíe that your spirit will lead us para que nosotros estemos preparados so that for us to be ready para recibirlos to receive these people te amamos we love you en Cristo Jesús in Christ Jesus amen 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 muchísimas gracias thank you very much gracias por el amor thank you for the love gracias por la generosidad thank you for your generosity y por hacerme pasar una mañana muy hermosa and for letting me spend a, a beautiful morning esta es solo una cosita más Just one more thing. esta es mi casa This is my house. porque es la casa de Dios Because it's a, the house of God. si abrimos nuestros ojos espirituales If we open our, our spiritual eyes, vivimos en una sola casa we live in one house. los amo I love you. pastor thank you. pastor Peter Praise God. Amen. So we're going to come around the, the table of the Lord this morning. And, um, you know, when you hear the Word of God, okay, the Word of God is eternal. It's not just words. It's not just, there's something spiritual and powerful about the Word of God. And of course, the Scriptures tell us that When we hear the word of God, sometimes the old enemy comes and just snatches it away, takes it away. Some of it is responded emotionally, and then the heat of the day comes and, and it withers. Sometimes, you know, it comes and there's competing agendas. But then there's times where a good heart receives it, And it goes down and it produces fruit. And today, as we've heard the word of the Lord, the whole purpose is to produce fruit. We've heard how uh, God only prunes trees that produce fruit, that are growing. And again, one of the things that we need to understand is Christian are meant to grow. The whole concept of being born again is a picture of a baby that should grow to maturity. And maturity can only be arrived at by the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit's job is to make sure that you're dead, okay? <laughs> that things that are redundant, things that are destructive, things that are displeasing to God are broken with so that you can grow in Christ. And so I want you to understand here, if, we're desi if we desire to be mature, we've got to understand the Holy Spirit isn't just here to comfort us or to give us goosebumps on the back of our heads. Holy Spirit is to bring you into maturity. He's bringing you to a place of, of death mortification. Okay, the word to be a witness, the word martyr. I was actually, we're just listening to this on the, the way up here this morning. So this is just, just really confirmed everything. And you know, we're coming around the table of the Lord here. And um, Ulian mentioned here that God doesn't choose or doesn't consult us in the way that he challenges us, okay? Now, we're holding in our hands What Jesus, Jesus probably wouldn't have chosen the, the cross. That was what the Garden of Gethsemane was all about. Not my will, but yours be done. You know, if it was up to his flesh, he would have probably chosen something else. And so this symbolizes exactly what we've heard this morning. The fact that God is going to Use maybe someone or some situation 
to deal with some area in our life that needs to be pruned. I remember just uh, first house I ever bought, we had this, uh, uh, it was a vine, a grapevine. When we arrived, it was overgrown. It was right across the whole of the backyard. And I thought, oh, you know, that's great. That's going to be produce lots and lots of fruit. But when, I, when we got the fruit the first year, the fruit was bitter. It was inedible. You couldn't eat it. So it required to be pruned, and it got pruned right to the very roots. But the next year, we got more fruit, but the fruit was beautiful. And that's what God wants to do in our lives, okay? So why do we stand to our feet? Praise God. And as we hold the emblems in our hands... What we're saying, God, we're willing to allow you to have your way, to exercise your will in our lives. We're inviting you, Lord, to prune, to bring us into a new season of fruitfulness so we don't continually walk around the the mountain Lord, that we break through into new levels and new seasons of fruitfulness. And Lord, you choose. We surrender. We give you permission to use whatever tool you want to use to deal, Lord, with the heirs of our life that need to be dealt with. So let's just eat and drink together as you pray that. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Julian, for... A powerful message that would sink deep in our heart for many weeks to come. I just want to finish the service by making the announcements. And the big announcement that I want to make this morning is that on Sunday week, which is I think the 5th of June, we have our baptism day. And at the moment, I've counted, we have 15 people that want to be baptized And there again, that message of baptism is about dying to self. And so it's entirely appropriate. This is the season of dying to self, of pruning. So on Sunday week, the 5th, which I think is Sunday week, if somebody wants to check that, I think it is, uh, we will be having a joint service at the lake, and we will have the baptism service there. And after we will have uh, barbecue and food and whatever. So please bring your friends. And um, that's the big announcement for today. So thank you. So, um, sorry, yes, Peter is just mentioning to me here. The Holy Spirit nights, which happens every Friday night. So many people are away for the summer that we have decided to go from a weekly meeting to a monthly meeting. And so if you check on Facebook, well, the announcements will be put up when the next one is. So the weekly one has stopped since last Friday night and will be uh, now monthly for the summer and we'll go back then to the weekly after that. So that is all the announcements. I just pray that you will have a blessed week and remember the message for the week. Well, thank you. God bless you.